aimed at Henry. In a gray double-breasted suit he was so frail. He told Henry he wasn't a man, that he knew it just by looking at him. I could eat you alive. Henry had no idea what Grover had against him. He gave other employees at the Beekman a hard time, but with him he was especially cruel. Just go home, said Henry. In response, Grover shouted, Let's go outside, me and you. He'd been looking for a fight, to roll up his sleeves and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the piano player. Henry could kill him with a single punch, and he was not going to hurt an old man. Even after Grover came at his throat, all Henry did was to hold him back. Grover would not acquiesce. He was vicious. At some point in restraining him, however, Henry used too much force and accidentally pushed Grover to the floor. Crowds gathered around them. Edgar wasn't happy that Grover, having thrown out his back, had to be wheeled from the lounge on a gurney. There had been a small piece about it in the post the next morning. The headline read, <laughs> Beekman Piano Player, KO's Member of UN.